Hello. I think it's me. I think we're here. It I is. <laughs> it's 11 a.m. in Pacific Standard Time. I'm in San Diego. And today I'm joined, uh, well, to start with, I'm joined by Travis in the studio. I'm going to say hello. We're going to do it differently today. Hello, Travis. How are you? Hello there. How are we doing, Martin? Doing very well. We've got Core in the studio as well. Hello, Core. Hello. Good. It's hello. all happening. It's, it's all happening. happening. It's great. And um, we've got a, a, an action-packed show. We've got badges to show you. That's what I'm most excited about to start with. I'm going to show you that. But then I'm more excited to have special guests uh, and team members. We've got Stan Bush and Ronnie Bincer here. Greetings Good. and salutations. Good. And salutations. Look at that. And then in a little while, we may well have some more team members uh, joining. And uh, we're on. But uh, let's begin. Let's, first of all, say hey, hello to Ronnie Bincer. Hello, everyone out there. I'm fabulously honored to be here with the Plus Your Business team. I hope you're all doing well, and we're going to cover stuff that you want to hear about. That's great. So what stuff are we going to cover? We were talking about this before. So what would you like to talk about today, Ronnie? Well, I always talk about Hangouts, so let's talk about something else. <laughs> just right, a I've got an idea. Why don't we talk about when people first join Google+, Plus, uh, how they should approach it. <laughs> That's a great option. Op you like op that? You I like do that. like that, yeah. Good. So, you came up with that one just before the show, so we'll, we'll run with that. That's great. Here's, here's <laughs> what I would strongly suggest, because a lot of people, when they come into Google+, Plus, treating it like a lot of other places where they may already be known, and so as a result... They just start posting things and expect people to automatically figure out what their stuff is and what to do with it. That, I think, is probably the, probably the worst thing to do because it'll make you feel like there's nothing going on here. The best thing to do instead is to find people that are posting about things you care about. In other words, listen first to what other people are doing, then start entering the conversation in their stuff and then adding your own things to that afterwards. And that, even though it's basic, is one of the biggest problems I think people run into when they first start, especially if they're in a the business. They're trying to systemize this. They're trying to just push stuff out there and then get it done and move on. <laughs> that does not work well here. And I think if people start to realize that and dig in, by listening first and entering into other people's conversations, they'll end up with much better results. I agree. I think that the first month... In particular, and which sounds a long time, but for, for a lot of people, the first month you need to go out and shake some hands and go meet people. And, hey, what's going on over here? And you've been here for a while. This is, this is a new place. It's a new neighborhood that people are. Well, a new, let's go for a new metropolis, because we're going to talk about neighborhoods now. New, new metropolis that people have joined, and they've got to find the communities. They've got to find the people that they want to connect with. And the only way to do that is to go out and just go, hey, how you doing? What's going on here? And becoming curious, because it's different here. And you can see when people don't get it, it's like, guys, this has been going on for a while now, you know? And there's lots of conversation. I mean, Ronnie, how long have I known you now? Over it's two years and over three two years. years. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the amount of interactions, it takes time to build those relationships. It does. And when you, when you first show up, if you are new to the neighborhood, it's okay to say, hi, I'm new. How's it going out here? Rather than saying... It's a great saying, way of starting. It's yeah. a it's perfect way because then we know. Rather than saying, I know everything I need to know, just watch my stuff, and that is not really accepted well. Think of it in, in real life. If somebody walks into a party and nobody knows them and says, you all probably know me. Here's what I do. And people kind of look at that oddly. Normally, the method would be to try to find what other people are doing, interact with the conversation. Then you bring in what it is that you do. There we go. Perfect. So we've, we've kicked off the show with some tips before I even got to say hello properly to Stan Bush. Thank you, Ronnie. Good stuff, Stan Bush. I'm going to hang out with Ronnie Bencer. The Ronnie Bencer. How cool is that? And he's got a good, he's got a good subject, too, because I like that subject, because the, the, uh, the way I describe that, Ronnie, is that you, know, you don't walk into you know, like Cheddar's or to a restaurant and go, hey, I sell real estate, you know, because nobody pays attention to that. Nobody, nobody really wants to hear that. You know, they just want you to come in, order your food, sit there, watch the menu, look, see what's going on, and then, you know, maybe, uh, you know, tell somebody what you do. But I see it all the time. I get a bit. I actually get a big kick out of it. You know, being um, looking at the posts going into uh, Flusher Business and uh, communities, I, I see these posts and it comes in. It's like 
I don't even know who you are. <laughs> you just told me that you sell Band-Aids at NASCAR. I mean, I, oh, what would I need to know that information? Why would I even need to know that? You know. So I, I get a big kick out of it. That's a good subject, a real good subject for me. Well, look, well, let's keep on going with that in a little bit. That What I want to do, just let everyone know what is happening, and I'm going to share my screen in a second. Uh, we are moving on with the Academy, and I've said it would launch in the summer. We're doing a very soft launch now, so I know some people are saying, why are the people that have gone through level one? It's because we've had hundreds of people that, that are interested in level one want to go through level one, so we're just working through that and putting the systems in place, which is why it will take till the summer to get everything done. But then we're going to have level two. We're working on the competence and the content for that this week. We've got some people that are going to be joining, and it's really cool. Uh, people like Lee from Nodex uh, are working with us and we're, we're putting together content for levels two and level three to really look at how we can make brand pages fly and for, and communities as well and building relationships and profiles and the, the, we've got other people as well that we're talking with so we'll come on to the, the details but what this means is that the academy is coming together which is what the plan is and I'm going to show you something which we're super excited about I'm just going to share my screen and I'm going to show you here. If I go to this, Dustin Stout, this fella here, has been working very hard for the the concept to come into action. And these are the badges that we've been talking about. So we have the level one, which is Pioneer, level two, Trailblazer, level three, Pathfinder, level four, Pace Setter, and then level five is the Trend Setter. And we've got a framework that is competencies underneath each of these. And this is the Plus Your Business Academy. So these are going to be embeddable. Um, you're going to be able to use these in your email, but also you're going to be able to embed these on your website. We've got a, a special system that we're using that's going to be able to give you the code, and you can dis display these in different formats. It will relate to the, the Plus Your Business badge as well, and you've got a choice which ones you want to use once you've taken the level one, level two, level three, level four, or level five competencies. So that's where we are going. So we're, we're, we're another step closer this week. You can see the progress. Um, I'm going to come back in the room and say hello to Mary. Hello, Mary. I'll, I'll come on and introduce you. So that's what's going on with the Academy. Um, it's coming together. All these things will take time. We have a, a three-year view on building up a team of trainers, coaches, and consultants. And we have a method for everybody who wants to get involved to be involved. We have a skill swap system. And this is something I'm going to talk with Mary about because she's involved with that with us. She's moving through the levels two and level three of competencies. And it's a way of connecting with people in the community, building relationships, building trust, and building up the competence. Um, so first, just a big thank you to Dustin for his graphic design skills. We've been back and forth on this over the last hour long, and it's really cool. So he's the best designer in the, in the bus, in my opinion, and he's come up with something wonderful, which I know that people are going to relate to. And we've got the space rocket theme. Who doesn't like a space rocket theme? It's so cool. Love that. Did you say he's the best designer in the plus or the bus? I, I, I didn't catch it. In the rocket. <laughs> the designer the in the rocket. <laughs> I, th I thought maybe he was the best designer in the bus, and the bus is on the plus, and all that good rhyming stuff. I like that, though. The bus is on the plus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to go with that. Uh, hello, Mary. Ronnie muted her. Well, she can oh, unmute herself. Well, <laughs> Come in. Hi there. <laughs> there. Now, you're a little bit low, Mary. We're kind oh, of like, okay. You may want to lift up just a little bit. There we go. Right, there we go. When you speak, okay. jump when you speak, then that will work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like really this. Really short sentences, exactly. <laughs> like one word at a time. All right. All right. I'll do that. So, would you like to introduce yourself and let people know what you've been doing with Plus Your Business? Sure. I'm Mary Stovall, and I've been hanging out in the community since about September, and I've just loved every minute of it because Martin had so much great stuff and started connecting with him, got to meet him a couple, about a month ago, and I'm super, super excited to go through the program and get certified, and I just, I think it's the coolest thing ever, so. Oh, it's great, and it's great, and it's great to have connected in real life, and yeah. you're, you've been working on the newsletter, yeah. and you've got that now, you've mastered now, the <laughs> content, is, I mean, people's feedback has been, this is an asset, and that's what we wanted to do for the oh, community, great. Is, is do that. You. you've done so well. Thank you, appreciate but, that. 
That's great. And so we're going to be moving on. So there's going to be other things that you're going to learn. But you're doing this as a way of contributing to the community and moving forward then through the competition. So this is an opportunity. So if you listen to this, we have this system, which is Skill Swap. So people can pay for the level two and level three, or they can approach us, or we'll approach them, have a conversation about doing something similar. And we have lots of jobs that need to be done. In fact, I've got, a, I've got an entire list of things in order to get everything in place. So it's getting exciting. It's getting so exciting. Um, and th thank you, Mary. And we you know we'll be looking at what, what's next. And we have community management roles. We have the page management roles. We have integration with the YouTube. Um, we're going to have the academy. Um, you know, people managing more like the badges and, and, and supporting people there. So there's a lot of customer facing stuff, which is it's great because we've got the hangouts to do that with. Question. You have a question. So thank you, Mary. Yeah, this is going to okay. Ronnie. Bit. It has to do with the newsletter. Are we talking about a newsletter as in traditionally through email, or is this no, something that's sorry, I, I used the wrong term. I should have said the weekly roundup. Ah, that I'm familiar with, yes. The weekly Good. roundup, that's <laughs> what I meant to say. There will be a newsletter in time. That will come from me, um, but I would rather do something well than put something out, and you read it and go, why? Why did you send us this email to every you know thousands of people? So There's that why I, word again. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. why? why? Everybody why? saw that. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> why? <laughs> something that he could have posted on Google Plus. Yeah. So in time, it will be something special for the people that signed up for the for the newsletter. In the meantime, we've got the community weekly roundup. Thank you for that. That's great. Um, hello, Wade and Kristin and Delilah and Lee and Ray. Oh, which I want to come to. Ray's just reminded me. Um, I think Mary's dropped either dropped or she may be back. It's, not, it's us. It's us again. Oh, so, we lost Mary. Oh, I'm, she may be back. We may, may see her reappear now. So, I want to talk, and thank you, Ray, you just reminded me. I want to talk about neighborhoods um, just for a moment. So, neighborhoods we announced last week, and the first neighborhood that we're going to be launching, look at that, we've got an image there. Um, we announced that this week is the one in Mountain View. Why Mountain View? Because Google's based in Mountain View, happy coincidence, and George and Marilyn, um, George Cohn and Marilyn Ritter, who have been on the PYB team since we, we launched, um, and really good friends of mine, and we spent lots of time together in um, San Francisco and around that area, so I know that they, they've they're excited because they have a lot of people that they want to get involved with Google+, and the neighborhood is a way to bring the pages into a curated page on the Plus Your Business site. There it's back. And from that point, we can then start to network and we can have real life events a bit like a Chamber of Commerce for Google. So, George and Marilyn are, are going to be doing that. And that will be, we'll start, we're starting small. All of it has like a three year trajectory and an aim of 120 to 150 pages that will be within a neighborhood. And it may be less, some page, so maybe 50, 60, um, maybe less. Whatever works to have a neighborhood. But this will be the physical location one. So that's coming. That's going to happen uh, within the next couple of weeks. I'd say we're going to launch that. So if you know any businesses, any brand pages that are within the Mountain View, down to Silicon Valley, down to San Jose, San Francisco area, then get in touch because we can help support them. And this is a free service that we're doing. But if they need us, we're there. We're an agency as well as a community. They can get in touch and we can help. Hold your hand, Ronnie Bins, for a second. Hold your hand, sir. Um, and once we've... See, I'm not, I don't know where I was going there. No, but once we've, we've got the thing going, let us know if you've got either interest in adding a page to that particular neighborhood that you see, or if you want to run a neighborhood, which is why um, when I saw Ray's comment, because I know there's lots of people out there that are interested in looking at these for different locations, which leads me on to the last bit before I come to Sir Ronnie Bincer. We are working through, we're creating a spreadsheet at the moment of all of the different people who have asked, are they interested? And there's hundreds of people who are either interested in joining the community, uh, a neighborhood, or in running a neighborhood. 
we will be getting back to them and I'll be emailing them uh, within the next week or so with where we're at and how we're just differentiating and getting a, getting a view of what the neighborhoods could look like. Once we've done that, then we'll start to build them out slowly. But we're not going to hurry on this. It's better to do it in a way which is going to work for those brand pages and work for the people that are running them than it is for us to try and just collect brand pages on the page. That's not what this is about. It's about relationships and building those relationships one person at a time. So, um, welcome Andy and Wayne and Nick and James. Hello. And now, Mr. Ronnie Bincer. I just asked a question, and it's in the comments, and I was going to wait till it showed up in the comment tracker to bring it right on screen, but since it's not here yet, I'm just going to ask it verbally, since I can. Yeah. What is this neighborhood thing about? Can you explain that? Oh, it finally showed up. Here we go. What is a neighborhood? What is it about? Are you on the comment thread as well? You're like, you're, you're like, you've cloned yourself. You're only in two places at the same time. Look at this. It's like magic. Mul multitasking. <laughs> it is. Um, so the neighborhoods idea. Where it came from was we've got, oh, news. Is it going to happen today, Stan? The 10,000th member in the community, is that going to happen today? Yes. Do you it know is. who it is? Wow. Do you know who it yes. is? Um, can I say? No. Oh, you know, do you? Is it going to happen, though? Definitely. It is definitely going to happen. It is so definitely gonna, going to happen. So I'm fairly sure about who it is. Because I looked at the list, and if it's, it looks, as, and I know who it's going to be, if that's the case. <laughs> that's right. I'll, I'll, All right, we're going to announce that. So, we have the 10,000th member of the plusher business community that is walked through the door today. So, we're going to announce who that is in a second. So if you're watching, it could be you or it could be somebody you know. But this can leads I... on to neighbor. Why are we doing this? Yeah, you, you can do that in a second, Ronnie. Why, so we've got 10,000 people that have joined the, the, the plusher business community. The difficulty is that 10,000 people, it's very hard to have relationships with that are based on a daily contact point. And you often find it's 10, 15, 20, 50, 100, 150 people that you're regularly having conversations with. And you have people circling and out. But 10,000 is big. Now, neighborhoods are up to about 150 people. And they are something that we've come up with, with myself and the Plusher Business team. They're based on the Plusher Business site. They are curated pages of brands to start with and we have the badges of the brands that want to be involved in a neighborhood and a person runs the neighborhood we're off that image at the minute uh, and a person not distracting at all Stan a person uh, 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 a person right. uh, a, a person runs the neighborhood and they interact with those 20, 120, 150 people um, over a period of time and build the relationships and help them potentially meet up in the real world and connect with them in the real world. To roll that out over a period of time. And the aim is to help people build up their brand pages, build up their network, build the relationships. Now those are the physical location ones to start with, but we're also going to have ones which are niche areas and we're even looking at e-commerce areas as well. So the niche ones will be things like social media tools. I'm talking with somebody about running that one. Um, and then the e-commerce ones could be a, a, a mix of global brands that all want to get together. The main thing is that the people opt in so that they are feeling part of a neighborhood and they connect with the neighborhood idea and they can then interact and support each other both on Google Plus and outside. There you go. That's it. Hello Maggie. Hello to Carl. And <laughs> very good. So yeah, so that's what they are. Ronnie, does that does that satisfy, do you think? Does that cover up? I think it does. I think one of the primary things you're pointing out is you can best interact with smaller groups of people on yep. a regular basis and this neighborhood idea is going to help you do that. Absolutely and it will be run by somebody who's in the plus your business community and to start with it will be people and it may stay as people who are like Mary, uh, like Stan, 
who want to run one of these and they are going to be interacting and potentially if people want to be doing business with the Busher business team, either that person will be delivering it themselves or they're going to bring somebody in. So it's a way of building relationships. And we're going to see. We're going to, we're going to see how it goes. But it's definitely because you can notify circles and you can build up small groups and you can embed those circles once shared publicly onto a page. We think that we can bring people together in a, in, in a new way. So that's the plan. Good. So, we're almost ready. So, Wayne, excited for PYB Hills. Well, that's going to be the plan, Wayne, is, uh, you know, we will be looking at, you know, bringing people together, and that will be part of the network, and it's going to be exciting, but it all takes time. So, you know, the first tests are going to be run. We'll know. We'll know within a few months how this goes. What's a and, and it sounds like subcommittees with a, with a community. Um, subcommittees with a community. Hang out in the real they're world. Like, they're like... They're like the the the, the subcommunities without having a community. In time, we may find that each of the neighbourhoods ends up with a, a small community of those people, and they want to get together. But to start with, it's better that we build it so that it's all public and that everybody can join there. So that, that's the way that will work. And then you can notify by circle. That's one of the, the biggest advantages. Um, James uh, Disley, how will you roll out these neighbourhoods? Uh, presumably the US first, based on relationship, James. Um, I'm having conversations, so Jim Banks and I spoke yesterday, he's very interested in, in looking at One UK, I'm speaking with other people as well, um, in fact he's looking at, the, at, at, at London in particular, and I'm talking with other people who are in the, um, uh, the, the Plusher Business community already, who are moving through the uh, academy, and we'll see. So it's down to, down well, to relationships, and, and approaching, and if you go to the plusherbusiness.com site and you click on neighborhoods you can read it there fill in the form and I'm working through that list so we've got hundreds of people that have, have said they're interested in running the neighborhood or joining in the neighborhood so within the next week I mean it's all everything takes just a little bit of time but we're moving pretty quickly so well, it, it will come yeah Travis Martin, um, and there's it's made up of or there's two different structures, so to speak. There's one that's based locally, and then there's the other, which I forget what you refer to them as. Uh, verticals, in a way. That's verticals. Like, yes. There's actually a third type, which may well come, which is like an e-commerce one, where you have a mix of different things, like a virtual mall, so that you have everybody get together in that that virtual space. But the the first two that were um, we're getting ready now. The, the verticals one, best example is social media tools. So a company like Nodex is, is perfect, and somebody who's actively, because Lee's so actively involved in the Plusher Business community, you know, that may well be you know, one area that we curate those together, get those people networking, um, because they work together. So if you've got Circloscope, and you've got CircleCat, and you've got Nodex, and you've got the, you know, the, the posts flowing, it's often a, a very similar audience who's interested in that content. So that's what we're looking at. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We have another comment from Ronnie's got up here. Uh, oh. it sounds like subcommunities with uh, a community uh, by Andrew. Within a community, basically. Within a community. Yeah, essentially. I mean, that's why we call them neighborhoods. Yeah. Because then, the idea is that you're in a community, a grander community, and we've got neighborhoods. And... Yeah, we can also put them on the maps and relate this back to Google neighborhoods, which I found out after the name neighborhoods um, was there. But Google have a feature on the maps which ties in perfectly. So if we find that we've got pins that we can place, so people have a physical location, for instance, then we can build maps up and we can point people to, well, people belong to this neighborhood. But we may find that that's not necessary. We don't need to do that. But again, being part of the Google Plus e or Google ecosystem is advantageous. You know, we've got the tools here. So if it will help people build their business, build up their brand pages, and if it will help them find people, see people, connect with people, and that's what we do. So shall we announce the ten thousandth member? As long as you're sure it's gonna happen, Stan Bush. I'm sure it's gonna happen. And uh, that member uh, name is Misty Young. Misty Young. Come on down. Yeah, Misty Young. It's <laughs> going to be the 10,000th member. Misty 
Ten thousand men. So, well done, Misty. And I know Misty. And I saw that this morning. And I was like, counting through. It's like this is exciting. This is going to be exciting. So, she she's let in now, I guess. So that's going to be Stan's job. He's going to, going to, we're going to topple over the 10,000 mark. So thanks to everybody for, for being a member of, of, of Plus Your Business. Um, we're not going to give Misty a prize because <laughs> you all deserve a prize. So we're, we're going to do that. But we'll, um, you never know, we may have her on the show. I would thank uh, Hillary for all the work that she's done on that too. She has. Yeah. And she's yeah, probably, really, really good. Really, really good. A trooper. Yeah. Between the two of you, that's great. And now, with Mary, Mary may move into doing a bit more community management now and we we'll start building up this competency. So, the team is growing. It's good. We've got lots lots to do. I've got another three weeks to do my bit in San Diego, and then I'm heading back up to San Francisco area. I've got a, a, an event at uh, and Mountain View on the 26th of June. So, in the meantime, I have a lot of content to create, and it's all going to get done. It's all happening, folks. Good. Excellent. So now Mary's here in San Diego as well, correct? Yeah. Right. And what do you what do you do here in San Diego, Mary? Did we talk about that? Um, part time, I'm the community curator for our co working space um, called Para Hub, and the other time I do consulting on Google Plus. Very good. Uh, yeah. So this is why we want uh, you know, the vision for those that, uh, that that have missed out on bits, and I haven't put everything out publicly yet because I'm still working on the figures, and I, but I will. I'll, I'll, you know, within the next couple of weeks, I'll, I'll put the whole model down because everything's about openness, transparency, and, and and Stan knows, and as Ronnie knows, this is the only way to do it, folks. Is is just you know, is to give as much public information as you possibly can in order for people to know what's going on and where we're going. So you know, what we're looking at is it, building through to the competency level uh, level three, so that people are capable of consulting and of managing, coaching, training, um, around communities and around pages, in particular for level three. Now that means you've got a lot of other things to do along the way, and there's a degree of authority building and trust and reputation, and um, that's all part and parcel of it. There are, however, oh, there we go. Great, they've got they've got the image up of the, the academy. So the idea is we've got we saw the the spaceships earlier, which will tie, tie into each of these levels, and you know at level three, then people people know the platform, they know what we're doing. We have a list of literally hundreds of competencies for people to work through and Stan's been doing a great job at, at helping people get through the level one but when people are at level three then we feel that they are going to be ready just as many of us are and have been for a while at delivering training coaching consultancy at that level. Now when we get to level four we're going to start to get into the content marketing uh, Mike Orton's working on some content with me around that and social SEO and then when we get to level five, we're and, and campaigns at level four. Level five, we're starting to get into into trending and some some more advanced topics. And running alongside all of this, we have Google Semantic Search. So we're going to have a special badge for people who are involved in that. And um, we have a, a product which is coming soon, which myself and David Amland uh, told you about probably a couple of weeks ago. But that's going to be released within the next six weeks or so. So that's going to be a special badge there for people who. Ah, oh, Google semantic searches. If there's right. Google semantic searches, what does the badge mean? What's the meaning of it? The meaning of it is that there's a competency that, that they have reached or a series Mark, of competencies. That was a pun. Oh, was that? <laughs> <laughs> semantic what does it search. Mean? Was it me? I should have picked up on the word mean. Is that no, what you said? Trying to stress <laughs> it. Yes. Yes. Nerd humor. Mean. Sorry. Uh, real learner. Well, with Nodex, well, one of the things we're looking at with Nodex, I said to Leah, I said, could we have a badge that said, because he, he wears a t-shirt that says data nerd, which he is. <laughs> and he, I said, with Nodex, I could, we could have like Nodex nerd level one. Nodex nerd, nerd, we could have that. So I'm, I'm thinking that would be a pretty cool badge. So we're going to have some fun with these badges as well. Mm -hmm. So... But yes, that's what we're doing. Google Semantic Search, we're going to have run alongside and all to come. 
William Rock, I wonder what level I am on. Depends if you've done any level one with PYB yet. If you haven't, get in touch with Stan Bush. He'll take you through the competencies. If you're an individual, it's free. Uh, it's a dollar if you've got to pay through PayPal and you want to book ahead because that's the system. You can't uh, do it for free. It's a dollar. Um, I'll give the dollar back. If, if you book it that way, if you're an individual. If you are a business, it's $295. So if you have a team of people who want to go through, then we do charge for the competency framework check as we've got to coach people through. So that's what it is. So uh, just get in touch. Get in touch. Okay. We're at the half hour mark. It's been a very... Oh, Kenneth, thank you for the congratulations on the 10,000 members. Okay, cool. We, we launched the community. For those that don't know, we launched the community last May. So it's been 10,000. I think probably Stan, you'll be able to, to let me know now. It, has it been about uh, a Let's thousand, see. a quarter of a thousand a month at the moment? It's probably what we're looking at. It's actually a little bit more than that. It's, yeah. it's more than a thousand. It was, uh, it was running along there. I remember the numbers. That was uh, first of March, it was 30, the, and then it went to 70, then it went to. A uh, hundred and I remember telling you we're going to be over two hundred a week by the end of March, and it went thirty, seventy, like one fifty, and then we went over two hundred um, a week, not a month, a week. And so yeah. right now, you know, we're, you know, Hillary does such a, a really good stuff job of that that I I, I don't know the exact numbers anymore because uh, I'm doing the competent stuff, but um, but that's great. But we're so now, this is where we add the, the bit. So, so we're saying the numbers are running at. This is a really good point, I think, on Google. But the numbers are running at. We get There's a thousand people. Actually, the people that we're talking with, the people that we're connecting with, and particularly the people that we're talking with in Hangouts, that's where it changes. And the numbers, I've said this before, the numbers matter, but they don't. So we celebrate. Great. We've got 10,000 people. Actually, what we're more interested in is a conversation with you and seeing how we can help. That's well, what we're going to about. But the first thing to do is to join the, the community, and then we start to go from there, or get in touch by email and, and, and can build the relationship. So it's quite an interesting thing when you see people celebrate the numbers. And I look and just go, yeah, it's kind of, you know, then we go back to the hard work. Because it matter, what matters is how you feel about Plus Your Business. How you feel about the content that we're putting out, how you feel about how we approach things, that's what really matters. And so what we want to do is connect with you. And as we grow and develop, then it, it, this is why we want the framework, and this is why we want the badges and the competencies, so that we find the people who connect with us and that want the relationship and want to come along for this journey. And that's great. So the numbers matter, but they don't. So, you know, realize that we spend most of our time talking with people and connecting with people. That's well, what matters. One way I think that the, the numbers do match is that all, I know for the a fact that the last 3,000 that's joined all have profile pictures. Well, so we this know, is probably what yeah. you've done is great because one of the things we've done, is we, could, we could have had a lot more people join, but we actually say everybody has to have a profile pic now. Um, and so we... We have a lot of people. We have probably, I think, 400 or 500 people that, 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 that essentially we have as, as, as archived, and then we see the new people come through. And the reason why is it's like, guys, you know, we want to connect with you. Then that's almost like the first thing. We know this on threads. If you haven't got a profile pic, it's really hard, and you're always wondering. So you sometimes see me on threads say, can you, you know, when are you going to add a profile pic? And I know it's a really kind of awkward conversation with a lot of people, but it matters. You know, and we haven't talked about this for, for quite a while, but Ronnie, you remember back in the day uh, when there was a lot of posts on, please. About blue heads. About blue heads. This is what it was. I mean, people don't realize quite how much, you know, sort of water's gone under the bridge. And the blue heads have gone through the stream. They're bobbing. Bobbing uh, along. <laughs> yeah. So there we well, go. Well, they, they also get, you know, uh, she sends them an email tells them how to change that, um, yeah. that blue head, too. So it's not, we, I mean, this community is helpful from the very beginning. From yeah. The very beginning, it's that you know, you don't have an image, you don't have a profile picture, but here's how you change it. Yeah, and absolutely. Well, and, and we've got the quick starter guide, so for free. So this is the thing: if anybody wants just to learn and they don't want to, to be involved in the academy, then they've got all the content. Just go to plushbusiness.com, click on quick starter, and it's a self-serve area. Yeah, the academy is when we're going to support people through 
that are committed to plus your business and that want to move through and be signed off as competent at the different levels. Bring in back the badges, because I love the badges, because we only just had them done today. Let's have a look. We've got them. Let's go through it again. Look at that. <laughs> we have. Oh, that's that. That's it. Oh no, it's me. Oh, I'm the one with the badges. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to flip. There we go. Let's see, I forgot that. Start screen share. Sorry, I'm going to flip that. There's the ones because that's a great screen. job. He's added academy there. So there, that's okay. what we're working on. Levels one, two, three, four, and five. There may be a few little tweaks to the badges over the time, but I think they look beautiful. So yeah, they look great. It's cool. It's all cool. coming yeah. together. Very cool. So where so, do these badges? You know, show? where where Martin? Where do these badges show? Where are they visible for people to see? When you've accomplished a certain level, I imagine you get a badge or you have access to a badge. Where do you display that? So the first thing that we are planning is that we will be announcing people who have gone through a particular level of competence, and they will be given that badge then, and that will be on a thread, and then they can, they can you know, be part of that announcement. The next thing is that we are going to have the... This is by, I think, around about the 10th of June. We'll have the capability for anybody who's gone through a level on Google Plus to generate. We will be generating, take as an iframe, that they can put on their website. And all being well, this is the cool thing, if they go through the next level, so start with level one, they put that badge on the website. If they go to level two, that badge will dynamically change. A bit like how a, 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 a cover on a YouTube video changes when you change the, the YouTube video if you've embedded it on your website. I've ever, ever, ever done that. So these badges, if you put the code in once, it will change as you move through the levels. So that's what we're planning there. If people say, I haven't got a website, uh, Dustin says, ooh, look, badges again. I know, they're cool, Dustin. You've done a great job. <laughs> and uh, if people want just to take the JPEG version or the PNG version and put that on their site and they don't want to use an embed code, they can do that. It just doesn't dynamically change. If they want to include it in their email, they can do that. They can tweet it. They can share it within the platform. And in fact, we have a plan before too long for a method that will allow, once a badge has been granted, they'll be able to share it directly back into Google Plus or tweet it from that share. But this is all within about three months for that part of the system. Uh, but the first thing is we can grant badges. It's going to be badges to groups of people. Um, and if somebody says, hey, I'd love to display it, they can put it on their profile, on, on their cover image. That would just be as a JPEG. You know, whatever works best, we will you know, adjust. And, and we, the thing that you find with Pleasure Business, we listen. And people come up with suggestions all the time. It's like, okay, that's a, you know, it's a great idea of something we haven't thought of. Let's do it. So that's it. That is Thank it. You. Yeah. Is that okay? That's good for you? Yes. Yeah. I was just asking on behalf of those that are wondering where are these badges going to be seen. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is that within platform we have an extension which is being built that will allow them to display within a community itself. So a little bit of code will be, and so people will be able to see who is at what level within a community. We're working on all of that, but that's going to come in a little bit. So again, you know, all of this within a few months. So just to say, uh, good to see you, Lee, and all the comments, William and Bill as well. Um, yeah, so this is very good. If you've got questions, we've got about another five minutes or so, and then we'll start to wrap up. If you've got questions, please ask or get in touch with me. Uh, info at plusyourbusiness.com, plusyourbusiness.com, come straight to me. So if you want to send me an email or use the contact form, you'll get in touch that way. Uh, but we're here. And come into the community, and you know, if you've got ideas, and um, it's it, this isn't this isn't one person's show. My job is to help everybody to learn, grow, develop, so that they have their own voice. They come up with their own ideas. We put those ideas into action. So if you have ideas, uh, then let me know, and and you know, let's see what we can do to to make those happen. And you'll see what's going on with with se several tools like with Nodex that we're we're really going to be working together um, as a grander community over, over the next couple of months. Ronnie Binser. It's a quick question. question today. Yeah, I have a Go question on. for either Martin or Stan or whoever is doing yeah, a lot of wow. Okay, Stan, what is a common question you see that when new businesses come on 
Google Plus and they're joining Plus Your Business, what are the most common types of questions that they run into or that they submit that you end up addressing? I have two Google Plus pages and I don't know which one I'm supposed to use. That is like the most common thing. You know, they've got they've got a, a local page. They get confused between local pages and the pages that, that they created and they've got, you know, two different profiles and they don't know whether or not they should, the second question would be they don't know whether or not they should post uh, to their page, should they use their page to post to or should they po you know, use their profile and okay. but, but that's, the, that's the biggest thing is, is the Google page is what and how, how come I can't get mine verified and I see people go out and delete their, you know, <laughs> they go out and uh, I saw one person delete their profile and it was like well that was a bad idea uh, you know, and, and I know, I know, you know, and I see you laughing because you know what I mean. It's like, well, you know, I didn't tell you to do that, but that was a bad idea. And um, and then they're trying to figure out how to get all of their contacts and stuff back, and you can't. Well, it depends on whether you went to takeout first or not. Okay, so I they're having. The one, I think the very similar one to that is slightly. Like, Shall I use a profile or shall I use a page right. as an individual? And the usual thing is people will relate better to a page, but if you really want to build a brand or you have a company, then you're going to want to look at your page. So you start with your profile and then look at the page. However, you can do both. And it's easier to. Kath Dawson's a really good example. She's built up the profile, got people to understand, got built, built the trust, built the relationship, and then start to transfer that into the page. And it's working really well. Um, Disclosure, Kath has been a client of mine. So, you know, that's been the, the very much a plus your business approach, but that's very common. Yeah. But you, you may have misspoke. I believe you said what the opposite. People can relate first to a profile. Profiles. Yeah. And then Correct. it's easier to then push them over or yeah. guide them start towards with the page. Profile. If I said it wrong, I'll start again. So start with your profile and then look at your page. That's been the consistent advice. So I may have said it for that. Yeah. So thank you for picking up. If I did, there we go. So... William and Lee and Kristen and Doc, hello, how are you doing, Doc? Um, and Kenneth, uh, I'm just going to have to bring this one up because, hold on a second, just before we start to wrap up. There we go. He wants it. Do you know what? They're going to look good on the leather jacket. <laughs> nice. Oh. So good. So, congratulations again to Mr. Young for being a 10,000 member of Google Plus. That's pretty cool. And a thank you to everyone here, starting with Mary. Thanks for everything you're doing and with the newsletter again this week. And then we may well be moving you to lots of different areas. But mm -hmm. thanks for all your hard work with that. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, it's great. It's great to have you on board. And then we come to Sir Ronnie Bincer. Thanks again for the opportunity to be part of the club. I enjoy uh, being part of Plus Your Business, and if you do have questions on Hangouts, feel free to ping me in the middle of that, and I'll do my best to give you the answer. That's super. Thank you, and thanks for your guiding questions today. Good. My pleasure. Uh, Stan, always good to see you. I do see you about four times a day, so it's not unusual. <laughs> um, but it's great, and thanks for everything you do in the community, and people love your approach, and that's why you're doing what you're doing, and I know you are working very well. I mean, sometimes we might find that it takes a little longer to get to questions in the community at this moment because we've got a lot of people going through level one, but once we've done that bit, then we're going to start to get more active, but the thing I'll say is, we're here, just just plus mention. I've got my plus mentions turned on, so if you plus mention me, I'll, I'll come, pretty much all the time, and I know Stan's the same, so you know, just reach out and, and connect. So, uh, yeah. Okay. If you're if you uh, need to go through the competence, um, just you know connect to me there, and I'll send you to the link to make an appointment and, th and things like that. But I do want to tell publicly, I want to say to Susan Lynch that I apologize for not making an appointment with her yesterday. Um, I could not make the time. Uh, things happen, and but I wanted to say publicly because I I really uh, you know. Do everything I can do to meet those, uh, you know, make those meetings. But I just couldn't yesterday. Yeah. And, and you know, it, there, there's, we, we've got a lot going on. Not that's an excuse, but we have got a lot going on. So I think it's just sometimes, and it's great, you know, we, we, we'll put our hands up and go, hey, you know, we're not perfect, but mm -hmm. we, we're doing our best. So um, thanks, Dan. And 
Thanks to everybody for watching, and Boyan, good to see you. Uh, and yeah, Boyan, it's very hard to, to promote a Google Plus page, and that's why we're coming up with a, the, the neighborhoods um, concept to really try our best to help people for free uh, to build their network based upon either a location or neighborhood. So that, that's exactly why, so we're trying to come up with solutions. And, and once we've tested it, we'll tell everybody how we, that's how our PYB is, we'll tell everybody how it's all working and, uh, you know, you know give, give you the, re the results. So, Travis, back into the studio. Yes, sir. I like all the, there's a lot of activity today on the, uh, on the comments and whatnot. I'm glad everybody's enjoying the show and watching today. Yeah, no, thank you. And yeah, it, it's lovely to see the comments, and it's great that everybody can see now, hopefully, a little more where we're going, and I know that from the enthusiasm, once we've got the badges and we've got the system and we're able for people to move into the level two, we, we, we've got some exciting things coming, let me just say. And you know, the reason why I'm solidly working, um, and sometimes I'm working 18-hour you know, days in, in, in San Diego to get everything done, is because I know that we can do something cool together. And it's just a little just a little bit further now, but we're almost there. So I'm, I'm, you know, it's great to see everybody you know, enthusiastic and excited about it. And thanks to you, Travis, and thanks to, to Core. You know, it takes a lot to put the show together. It's a, it's, it's a different sort of show. Do you want to show the wide shot? We haven't used the, 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 the big TV to, the, to the, the full extent today. Or have we? Am I on it now? I have, well, I yeah, on you're it. on it now. Yeah, so we, we haven't been using it as much. There's been a lot of, lot of chatting going on amongst uh, the individuals on the panel, so that's always good, though. Yeah. Well, thank you. And as Andrew Hatchett said, great show. Yours to all, and thank you to, to you and, and to Core for all your hard work. And you you are pushing the boundaries of what can be done, and it gives it gives the show energy to be doing it differently as well. So thank you all. Well, and I will say we may have at times uh, in the future to uh, pull it back a little bit. I may not always have Core in the studio here, so we may have to we may have to bring it back and not have uh, two cameras and some of the the fun stuff that we have going on. But then at other times, I'm hoping we'll be able to. Uh, push the boundaries even a little bit further, which we haven't had a chance to do with some things that I, I won't talk about now. But, um, and I need to give a shout out to Ronnie uh, because uh, it's his mastery class and Ronnie himself that has been, uh, has got me into all of this to begin with. So if it wasn't for Ronnie's uh, uh, great persistence and in the information about Hangouts, um, uh, we wouldn't be here. So. Yeah, and, it, and it was Ronnie that connected us. Yes, and it was Ronnie that connected us. Yes, Happy to play so a part. I, I always am appreciative, Ronnie. Excellent. And on that note, Doc Sheldon, I've, I've read your comment. I'm not going to shout. Just press the button. <laughs> but, uh, for those that don't know, I have a video on my site where you know, I, decide, I decided to put out the, the, the unspoken thing when somebody doesn't click the comment. Uh, so check out my check out. Martin Sherrington YouTube video on why Dave why if you want to know what, what that's about so th thanks for bringing that up Doc. Okay on that note thanks to everybody for watching thanks for everybody in the studio in the film strip and that was another Plus Your Business show we will see you, oh I'm going to do a quick call to action check out plusyourbusiness.com become the 10,001th member of uh, the Plus Your Business community. Um, knock on the door by saying you'd like to join. And as long as you've got a profile pic, doesn't look reasonable. It's not you. We'll let you in. And let's build the relationship. Come and say hello. There we have it. Take care, everyone. See you all soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye now. Bye -bye.